this episode, we're going to have a similar look as what we did in the previous episode with deploying with Kamal 2. However, we're going to first deploy with the standard SQLite database, and then we're going to change it over to a Postgres SQL, also using the same virtual machine for hosting that Postgres SQL database, but doing it in a secure way. So the first thing that I'll do is set up my virtual machine. Again, I am using Debian because I do prefer that on my servers opposed to Ubuntu because Debian is a bit slower moving and overall I find it more stable. So I'm just going to choose a cheap VM that has two gigabytes of VRAM and I think that should be good enough. So we'll wait for this to create and then we have our IP address, which I'll copy. And again, we're also going to be using Rails version 8 beta and we can install that with a gem install rails dash dash pre and that'll install the pre-release version so i'll go ahead and create a new rails application and we'll just call it example and one thing that i really like about rails 8 is that they have made it so easy to deploy with kamal before it did require a bit of setup but it's gotten to be so much easier now and just so much less config that we had to worry about and did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.